Has it ever happened not to have a regular bleeding adapter for your bladder shocks? Maybe you're missing out on the capabilities of Lava 7's reservoir adapters. Although at first glance it might seem unfitting, since the shock would become overfilled, there's a nifty trick to get around that issue. Let's take a look. Start by inserting the adapter on the reservoir. Then place the circ clip and fasten the counter plate. Lastly, connect the hose to the adapter. On the vacuum bleed pump, run the automatic bleed with a separating piston mode. Once bled, you can remove the adapter. The shock will naturally be overfilled with oil, almost stopping the reservoir, so we can go ahead and remove a big part of the oil with a syringe or any other tool. If we were to insert a bladder at this point, the shock would become overfilled and could lead to various issues during use. So, before we insert the bladder, we have to do some quick calculations first. When the bladder is inserted, it will overfill the shock by this amount. Taking into account that the reservoir is 52mm in diameter and the height of the overfilled amount is 15mm, we'll have 31.86ml of extra oil. So, before we insert the bladder, we'll have to give room for that extra bit of oil through the seal head. The seal head diameter on this shock is 50mm and the shock shaft is 18mm, so we have to compress the seal head about 18.6mm to equalize the oil volume inside the shock. Only then can you insert the bladder, always allowing some oil to come out to bleed it in the process. And there you have it! By following these steps and making the necessary calculations, you can ensure your bladder shock will work smoothly, without any risk of overfilling, and you'll avoid any issues down the line. For more information, check out our website at lava7.com and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you and are open to new video ideas. Thank you for tuning in.